Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. It's about 7.40 a.m. here in North Naples, Florida. And it is an absolutely gorgeous morning. Clear skies expected throughout the day. 61 degrees right now. Today's high temperature is going to get up to, oh, somewhere around 82 degrees. I'm just south of the Ritz-Carlton, Vanderbilt Beach. I'm actually out on the beach by Bay Colony and Pelican Bay. Really quiet out here. Good morning. We're still dealing with the red tide, unfortunately. Still got red tide here. However, right now, I don't smell a thing. Dead fish, yes, seeing dead fish on the beach, but as far the, as the red tide goes, no smell whatsoever. And it's probably gonna be like that throughout the morning. Might change later in the afternoon. If you look in the description, in the text description of this post, you will see a link to where you can check on the red tide. I provided a link, click on that, and it will show you all the different locations in um, Florida's Gulf Coast where they take their samples. That is the most current forecast that you can get. And if you look, you're gonna see here at Vanderbilt Beach is probably the only place in Collier County where they're showing moderate to medium to high concentrations of red tide right now. You'll see little blue dots up and down the map. North of us, south of us. But it's constantly changing. It's like one of those things, here today, gone tomorrow, back the next day. Red tide is tough to predict. It's offshore. It's always offshore somewhere here. It's all about the winds. Later today, the winds are gonna be shifting and coming at us from more of a westerly direction. So that's when the chances of smelling that red tide increase. A lot calmer out here than it was yesterday. Much calmer. Yeah, as far as the smell, the only thing I'm smelling now are the darn dead fish. Sad, 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 sad. Gorgeous Sunday morning. I wish you were here with me. It is a nice morning to be walking the beach. I'm sure it's going to be pretty busy here later, a little bit later. This time change has a lot of people screwed up. I can't stand it. It's so late right now. This is when, this is when everybody's late for church today. <laughs> Hey, Carol, good morning. It is a beautiful morning here, Carol. Not smelling the red tide, it's here, but I'm not smelling it. Look at that map. I posted, I actually posted the map on my Facebook page, Southwest Florida Television's Facebook page. See a lot of blue, a lot of blue little dots on the map, meaning very low amounts of red tide, except for Vanderbilt Beach and a couple other places. Oh, one of our horseshoe friends, one of our dead horseshoe crab buddies. I hate seeing them on the beach. I always look at them like tanks, like armored vehicles, indestructible. 
but yet the red tide doesn't care. That red tide's got no mercy. Poor little horseshoe crab. like YouTube's comments. I can't see them. They're so darn small on my screen while I'm walking along the beach, Carol. Facebook, at least if the light's okay, I can see the comments. But keep commenting, please. Let others see your comments. Hit that share button, too, if you can give us give me a share that would be awesome nice today mm, it's, it's, it's nicer than yesterday yeah and i don't know if you saw my post early this morning did you see the map yeah. all the blue just here yeah, and right? a couple other places <laughs> a couple up to the north of us yeah but everywhere else looks like it's very low this yeah. morning It's just you and me. Everybody's yeah. still everybody's still sleeping. It's like, what time is it? Yeah. <laughs> this is when everybody's late for church. Yeah, right. This is the Sunday. Everybody's yeah. an hour late for church. Yep. Ah, I'll see you later. Have a good morning. Yep. Oh, it is so peaceful out here. There's that beautiful stretch of beach along Pelican Bay going down to Clam Pass. That's the closest thing you can get to Del Norwegian's Pass State Park right now. It's kind of semi-unspoiled beach. That little walk from here down to the south. I titled this video, my first look at the beach. It's actually my second look. I recorded one little short video before I started this live feed when I first got out here, just to have a little something extra to share later. But this is probably gonna be the way we, I do, we, the way I do our live feeds for a little while here. I'll be starting on YouTube now for our first look at the beach. And then switching over to Southwest Florida Television's Facebook page for my beach walks. So if you want to get that first look with me, you're going to need to be on YouTube. And probably around the same time, around 740-ish. For now. It'll start getting earlier. But what I do now is I walk to the beach and I start down at the south end of Vanderbilt instead of up at Bluebill at the north end. So we'll be taking our walk north on Facebook. In a little while, I'm gonna go for a few more minutes here on YouTube. kind of testing the waters here with YouTube here also trying to figure out how far I can go where I can go and still keep a cellular connection YouTube wants a much stronger connection than Facebook Parking garage was not open at seven o'clock this morning here. They were opening it up early at Vanderbilt Beach there, but they were opening the garage early. Now it was locked at seven o'clock this morning. 
I know there's a lot of people that like getting here early in the morning for their walks. And as long as you had a sticker on your car, it was okay to go in there. Again, if you can figure out how to do it, hit that share button. If you're liking what you're seeing, give me some thumbs up there. Let me see some likes. If you enjoy these early morning live feeds here. It's not really like early morning. <laughs> early light. <laughs> it's like I'm sitting around the house twiddling my thumbs for an hour now. I think I'm gonna, when I'm, when my friend Robert gets down here, if he ever shows up down here, Mr. Meyer, if he ever shows up down here, him and I, I'm gonna see if I can talk him into taking a trip over to Miami and I'll take you for a little walk on the beach that I grew up on over in Miami. I probably won't even recognize it now, but it was a little beach park called Matheson Hammock down on Old Cutler Road. And that, my mom would just dump me off there back in the old days, me and my friends. The lifeguards would keep an eye on us. Everybody knew everybody. Times were a lot different. Back in the old days. little beach park Matheson Hammock has been in a lot of TV commercials and movies. It's a neat little place. It's not too far from Fairchild Gardens. It's just a little bit north of Fairchild Gardens if you know where that is. I know my friends Linda and Ann and Karen over there in Florida City know where that is. I'll bet you any amount. By the way, Ann and Karen, if you're watching, thank you for that tip you sent the other day. That was awful kind of you. Thank you so much. Linda, same to you. Carol, same to you. God bless you. Beverly, Janie, and Steve. Man, so many awesome people out there. Thank you, thank you. If you enjoy what I do, tips are hugely appreciated. You can always find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. You can also find me on YouTube, or on YouTube, on YouTube. Yeah, you can find me on YouTube. That's where I am right now. No, you can find me on uh, Venmo and Apple Pay. Of course, if you're watching any videos that are posted, not shared, any videos that are posted on Facebook, you can send Facebook stars. I get it penny on Facebook for each star that you send. So thank you, thank you, but above all, as always, thanks for being a friend. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for letting me be on your screen there. Thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> I'm going to be switching over to Southwest Florida Television's Facebook page now, so I'll be there. I'll be live and Oh, 10, 15 minutes or so, however long it takes. I got to get this video uploaded and finalized on YouTube, and I'll give it a share in a couple of places. So however long that takes, as soon as I'm done with that, I'll be back live on Facebook. Hope to see you there. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, my friends. Tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.